King Shalom. Shalom, Kwam Yashala. Kuhulo Yumla, Yahweh Bashim Yahweshai, Bashim. Rakaha Kodash, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. We rule well that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water toward the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely, keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of the Yahweh Bashim Yahweshai to the best of their ability. This is Yahweh Just coming at you with another quick lesson. Praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And I wanted to touch on Psalms chapter 32 and verse 8 and grab a couple of precepts on it. It says, I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. I will guide thee with mine eye. And that's coming from Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. So the Lord said to he, How do you get instruction from the words of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai? He brings the words forth through the through, through his men, the apostles, you know, the elders, the bishops on down. And, you know, just through your reading as well, you know, through the spirit, the Holy Spirit really is what brings that um, that instruction to you, the comforter. And it comes from all angles, like, you know, when you need chastening, he's going to hit you. When you need comfort, he's going to hit you. When you need exhortation, he's going to hit you. When he wants you to be joyful or prayerful or praise in a moment of praise, he's going to hit you. See, it says, I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. And I will guide thee with mine eye. And, and this is overall a, a super duper circumference of multiple things. Not multiple doctrines, not multiple, you know, um, niggas thinking, you know, we're talking about the Lord is a whole and it's a lot that goes into his wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And he gives it to you accordingly. You know, that's why it talks about milk and meat. So when you first come into this truth, you're going to get that milk. Because he understands that you're a babe. And then you got to be washed, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? You got to be, you know, washed of your old, your old man. That's why it talks about being born again, you know. So let's grab a couple of precepts. Let's get uh let's get Psalms chapter twenty five. Something real quick, not none too major, but hey, definitely we need instruction from the Lord. That's why I always like to read in the book of Psalms because as you're reading through the book of Psalms, you should be praying the prayer. Because most of those Psalms are prayers. You should be asking the Lord exactly what you're reading that's being asked for from the um you know the elders that or mainly king david you know um and, and and some other elders you know that kind of put it together but you should be you know praying those things as you read them in the book of psalms psalms 25 verses 9 through 11 and verse 10 it says the meek he will guide in judgment so that's why i always pray for a contrite spirit a humble and meek spirit you should pray for that to be contrite, meek and humble in spirit, because the Lord, He deals with the contrite in spirit. I've done a lesson on that, I think yesterday or the day before. Pray for um for that. Pray for a contrite, meek, and humble spirit. Because that's who the Lord is dealing with. The Lord's not dealing with no proud niggas, man. Verse 10 it says, All the paths of the Lord are mercy and truth unto such as keep his covenant and his testimonies. See? In the NLT, it says the Lord leads with unfailing love and faithfulness all who keep his covenant and obey his demands. See? So the Lord is about people that will that will listen, man. All that bucking up, I got my own way, that carnal, you know, I you no, know, I'm I'm thinking I'm smarter than you. Cause see, you know, when 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 it comes to the Lord, it may not make no sense to you. But you'll you'll realize in the end if you let it play out. If you let it if you let these words come to fruition, you you'll see. But if you try and jump in like, oh no, nah, that don't make no sense. I'm gonna do my own thing. You're gonna find yourself in a bad situation. Okay, so let's get Psalms on 33 and 18. It 
It says, Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon them that fear him, upon them that hope in his mercy. See, you got to fear the Lord, man. And you got to hope in his mercy. You don't think the Lord don't know who fears him, who hopes in his mercy? You got people out here that claim they do. But deep down, you don't think that the Lord know the heart. He don't know the mind of every single man, woman and child on this planet. He knows who's sincere. It says to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. And we're about to come into some times where a famine already happening. But, it, it, you know, it hasn't happened on that grand scale here in Babylon the Great. See, you Babylonians, you haven't experienced that yet. Right? In the NLT, it says, but the Lord, verse 18, Psalms 33 and 18, but the Lord watches over those who fear him, those who rely on his unfailing love. He rescues them from death and keeps them alive at times of famine. See that? So, you need to be fearing Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And the average person don't. They, they really don't. Let's get another precept. Or well, this one I pray every day right here. Proverbs 3 and 5. I pray this soon as, as soon as I'm getting up. Proverbs 3, verse 5. Trust in Yahweh with all thine heart. And lean not unto thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him. And he shall direct thy path. See that? What we just read, I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. I will guide thee with mine eye. That's something that you should be praying to the Lord for. You should be really hardcore going hardcore to have that from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Instead of leaning to your own understanding, man. Because it's going to get you messed up. Isaiah 49 and 9 or 10 to lock you and this is the last precept you know i just wanted to just do something real quick because that that scripture hit my spirit last night and i actually went to it it says i psalms 32 and 8 i will instruct thee who's going to instruct thee the lord so i took that personal you know like the lord because i prayed i had actually prayed for the, for something like this and then the spirit hit me to pull up the scripture and the lord said i will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. So I'm going to be trusting in the Lord. I pray that he will help me to trust in him. He just told me, I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. I will guide thee with mine eye. And we all got personal um, relationships going on with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. I want that. That's something that I pray for. Isaiah 49 and verse 10. They shall not hunger nor thirst, neither shall the heat nor sun smite them. For he that hath mercy on them shall lead them. See? Even by the springs of water shall he guide them. So the Lord is the one that, that, that leads and guides us, man. You should want that. You should want to obey and be humble and contrite, meek in spirit. And say, hey, this is what the Lord says. And, and you may not even know what's going to happen in the future. But you got to know that it's prosperity because the Lord's word is about life. If you're obeying him, it's about death if you're not. So if you're doing exactly what he says to do. Though it may not make, you know, much sense right at the moment, right that instant. You're going to see in the future like that's why the Lord wanted me to do that. That's why. If he's giving you discernment or if he's giving you that wisdom, knowledge and understanding to understand, OK, I can see the differences as opposed to had I done what I wanted to do. And, and had I done what the Lord told me to do, I can see the differences. Because the Lord will show you that people that were around you. He'll show you their 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 destruction and you would have been there had you not listened to him. I've seen accidents, all kinds of stuff happen. Where it's like, okay, well, if I'm not listening to the Lord, this can happen. If I'm listening to the Lord, this can happen. And it's it's no in between. It's either you're going to get life or death out of it. It's going to be a wound or, or, or you're going to be healed. It's going to be, 
You know, because the Lord, that's the way he does things. It's a right and a left to this thing. If you're doing what the Lord told you to do, you may go, you may be going through some uh, um, affirmities, but still on the, on the on the on the brink of it. When it's done, you're gonna be stronger. You're gonna be more in shape, so to speak, possibly. Whatever the case may be, you're gonna be in a better off situation. I'll put it that way. But if you don't do what the Lord says to do, you're gonna be in a jacked up situation. It is what it is, man. So I just wanted to just um, you know run off into that. I seen that. Psalms 32 and 8. Let's get it again. I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. I will guide thee when my, with mine eye. So that's a beautiful thing. That's direct entering into. Because no one can stop that. No one can stop the Lord. No one can stop his instruction. No one can stop him moving you through a barrier if, if that's the case. No one can stop it. No one has the power over you. How about you, outside? Scripture says that, you know, ain't nobody got no counsel that they can get a Lord. Like, how you going to counsel the Lord? What you going to tell him? What you going to do? What, if, what advice you going to give him when he's all knowing? Every piece of intellect that you think you have is from him. All that smart shit, that wise, you you so smart, you so, I made straight A's in school. Where do you think all that come from? You're not smarter than the Lord. It ain't going to make no difference. You're not smarter than the Lord. So to have the Lord personally instructing you through the Holy Spirit, Yahweh by Shemel Shai, the Rakach Hadash, he says, I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. That that that's man, that's that's beautiful. You got you got um self coach classes and help classes and they, and they'll you know get your money and say hey well do this and it may not even work for you. The the Lord's word is sure. Scripture talks about that. This this truth is sure. The Lord's word is sure. It shall not return to him void. But it shall perform that which he wanted to do. Matter of fact, let me get that. Yeah, I got caught up in the ride. It's going to start raining on me. Isaiah 55 and 11. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. So you don't think that this is gonna come? This is not gonna come to pass if the Lord is down with you. He says, um, if, "If the Lord, if I be with you, he can, who can be against you?" Verse eight again, Psalms thirty-two and eight. I'll end out here, y'all. Ratzah, I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. I will guide thee with mine eye. You can't get no better than that, man. I don't care if you're on a horse and chariot. I don't care if you're in a car. I don't care if you're on an e-scooter. I don't care if you're on a bike. You're not going to get no better. I don't care if you're on a G5 plane, submarine, Navy. I don't care what you want. You're not going to get no better guidance. I don't care what GPS you're using, man. So this is a beautiful thing, man. So pray for this. Pray that the Lord will instruct and teach you, you know what I'm saying, in the way you should go. Pray for that. That's something you should be praying for. That's why I love the book of Psalms, man. So with that, I'm going to end out. I pray that the lesson was edifying. With that, Kwame Yashallah.